Hello, let's build matrix coldering using Python with Pygame. Let's prepare the basics. We define the screen size, Pygame clock, while loop where the magic happens. We set frames per second to 60 and finishing with for loop to close window then close button is pressed. Ok, now we can go to the real code. To display our symbols we need font size, let's use 35. Next we need the list of symbols to display from. After little research I found out that in matrix we use real symbols which we flip horizontal to mirror images of themselves. We will skip flipping but the result still will be good. So most of used symbols are from katakana, there are some numbers, punctuation, arithmetics and some other symbols. So for starting we must use font which can display katakana. That font will be ms mincho. Let's create green symbols list, we will render all symbols making them green and the size of 35. Next we need to display them randomly. Let's import choice and renderage from random library. For displaying we will create symbol class. First we need to have x and y coordinates, speed, speed value will define how much on y coordinate the symbol should move and the symbol itself. Next we define draw method, we will display random character using choice method and add symbol moving logic that if y coordinate crosses window bottom it will go back to window top but each time starting position will be different. And finally we will blit the symbol at defined coordinates. Next we will generate symbols through all window width and finally we can call draw method to draw them. Ok, we have a bunch of symbols moving very fast. Let's slow them down by adding pygame time delay. Let's test now. Now it looks better. We can see that symbols appearing at random starting points above the window boundary and we are changing but we also want to see a symbol trail. For that effect we will use alpha value. We will create another surface which will be see through and we will see all the symbols of symbol trail. Let's check. Now it looks quite good but we also want to add some depth. For this we will cheat a little bit by making symbols smaller and darker. Let's add two more columns. We will need two smaller font sizes. We also need to generate darker and smaller symbols lists. Next we need two more drawing methods which will display our new symbols and we need to generate three different size and color symbols in the separate columns. And finally let's display everything on the screen. Let's see the result. I think we have quite a nice matrix code ring. Thanks for watching, hope you like it. If you have any questions leave it in the comment section, you will find the code in the video description. If you like this video please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.